I loved her so much, Emily. I know you did. Anyone could see that. And she loved you, too. Yeah, she did. I couldn't stand to be apart. She was so beautiful. That's why I was so jealous, you know. God, I didn't want to be Emily. I didn't. I know that jealousy was always Colin's thing, you know? He was always so jealous and so possessive about everything. He had his demons. Do you know how many times I wish I had never ever even known Colin? How many times I wish I had never even born his twin? God, things would have been so... Things would have been so different with Joanna. I, I don't understand. I mean, how was Colin responsible for Joanna's death? You want to know what Joanna, Colin has to do with Joanna's death? I don't understand, Troy. How was Colin involved in Joanna's death? Look, I had to start at the beginning. Here, sit down. You remember how Joanna and I were with each other, right? Yeah. You were so in love. And you adored everything about her. I remembered hoping that one day I'd be that much in love. Oh, God, Emily. Be careful what you wish for, because we argued a lot too, remember? Of course. Over just about anything. Yeah. We were constantly battling for control, you know? And that didn't stop when I got to Africa. You still fought? Yeah. No, actually not at first. Actually, at first, everything was perfect. We didn't fight at all. We had found this great place. It was incredible. It was on the cliffs. It was overlooking the Zambezi River. We had so much fun decorating it. And you know Joanna, I mean, she just threw herself into it. God, I wanted to share everything with her. I wanted to share all my hopes and my dreams. I wanted to tell her about my family, about, about you, about mom and dad. And about Colin. But she'd never met Colin, had she? I mean, no. he wouldn't even come to your wedding. No, right. Well, that, I don't know. No, Colin and I, well, you know, we've been estranged for a few years since even before Joanna and I started dating. But uh, Joanna definitely knew. That he well, wasn't. No, I'm not saying that he wasn't a very nice person sometimes. <laughs> Yeah. And I told Joanna how, how close Colin and I were as kids, how, you know, we sometimes switch identities just for kicks. So things were going pretty well for you in Africa. Things were going so well that I never saw it coming. My work was going so great. So great that I had never felt so appreciated as a doctor and, and, and as a person. I'll never forget the day the Maasai chief gave me the amulet. Emily, I was so proud. And it, it wasn't just because I had cured him. It, it was because I was finally accepted as a person. But unfortunately, by then, Joanna had already began to hate Africa. She wanted to go back to the States. But I wouldn't listen to her. I knew Joanna loved me. I knew she'd never leave me, so I figured I could have both. I could have Joanna and I could have Africa. Oh, God, I was so arrogant. 
what happened. I mean, if if she wanted to go home, but you wouldn't agree. Well, Joanna did the only thing she could do. She knew that it would drive me nuts any time that if she paid attention to another man, so she made sure she paid attention to every man that would come near her. And she knew what she was doing. She knew she was torturing me. And as soon as she realized that I was helpless, well, then she just kept on doing it. We finally had a, a huge fight, and I yelled at her. I said, Joanna, you got to stop it. She looked at me right in the face. She just laughed at me. She laughed at me, and she said, if you want me to stop, Make me. You gotta make me stop. I knew that she loved me. I knew. I knew it. But I couldn't control my jealousy. And she just kept torturing me. And then... And what? And then that's when Colin came into the picture. And things were never the same again. What did Colin have to do with Joanna's death? We were fighting constantly then, and it was just about that time that I got a letter from Colin. He said that he was sorry for all the problems that he caused me, and that, and that his marriage to Laney was on the rocks, and that he wanted to come to Africa. And in a strange way, I wanted him to come. Why? I guess I wanted him to see how successful I was, you know? I wanted him to meet my beautiful wife. But when I went to tell Joanna that Colin was coming, she just got mad at me and she yelled at me and she said that if I didn't start paying attention to what she wanted, that she would make me live to regret it. And once again, I didn't listen to her. What did she do? She did the same thing she did before. She just drove me crazy. Flirting with any man that would listen to her, any man that would come near her. It was a couple days after that that I got another telegram from Colin. He said he wasn't coming to Africa after all, and that apparently he had a chance to reconcile things with Laney, and that he was going to take it. But when I went to tell Joanna, I found her with someone in our bedroom. Now, of course, I knew it was all a setup. I knew it was just another one of her games. But in that moment, something just snapped. I couldn't help myself. It was more than just simple jealousy or anger. Something dark inside me began to take over. And I knew that this time I wasn't gonna just get mad. I was gonna get even. By flirting with other women? No. No, I took it to a whole new level. The next night I came home in different clothes. I parted my hair different. I even took off the amulet that I always wore. And she called out to me. She asked if it was me. Troy, is that you? I said it was. And then I went to the bedroom. I didn't speak. She was surprised that I was so forceful. I just made it seem that all I wanted was her. And afterwards, she grew a little curious. She kept asking me what was going on. She asked me about my hair. She asked me about the clothes. What happened to your amulet? And then finally, she noticed that I wasn't wearing the amulet. Where's <laughs> Wan? That's when I told her that I wasn't Troy, I was Colin. Uh, Troy. She was horrified. Colin. I wouldn't stop. I was merciless. Just the way she'd been when she was flirting. I made her crazy with guilt. She loved me. She never even thought about being unfaithful to me. And she ran from the room. Joanna! Come on, I love you! I was just playing a joke! <sighs> Joanna! I tried to catch up to her. She thought she betrayed me. I screamed that I loved her. And that I was sorry. And that's when I heard her scream. And she fell off the cliffs. And she died. I killed her, Emily. <laughs>